Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. Water Power Technologies sent over the Papa Agri Pump. This is basically a redesigned ram pump designed to take water out of a creek and pump it uphill for livestock or for your gardens. And I'm going to do an unboxing here and see what the components are and then show you what it looks like in the creek. And then if you want to watch the full install video, you'll have to go to the link in the description for my Land to House YouTube channel where you can watch me uh, fiddle around with this and get it installed in the creek. So let's go ahead and unbox this and we will see what components are in this kit. All right, there we go. It's a pretty nice box here. I like the packaging so far. We'll go ahead and just pop this side over here and this side. Yeah. Yep, so all three sides have a little tab. Opens up here. Okay, important. I'll get to that here in just a bit. All right, let's see what we have. Looks like we've got the pressure tank. I'll tell you what this is for here in just a moment. So we'll open these things uh, one at a time. I believe this right here is a part of the filter system. Oh, nope, that is a nice big stainless steel two inch valve. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. This, some kind of an adapter, we'll get to that. Okay, this is one of the filters and we will definitely look into that. I'm uh, anxious to see what these look like because on my Land the House YouTube channel, I have uh, a lot of videos on sediment capturing or uh, filtering. So I have to check out these and see how well they work. Looks like a stainless steel threaded pipe nipple. Man, that's a nice piece right there. So that is a two inch threaded pipe nipple. So we'll get to that as well. And then lastly, here is the pump itself. This is the Papa Pump, the Agri version. So let's toss this box off to the side and take a look at these components individually. The first component here is the two inch ball valve. Now this will go on the drive pipe side, which is the side that takes water from your creek or source to the actual pump. And it's nice to be able to turn the water on and off from that point. Oh, huh. turns out there's a lock on this one. Well, I have to see about getting that undone. It's on there pretty good. I think some of it's because this plastic is stuck in the, the ball. So, all right, I'll have to work on this to get it open, um, but that's just gonna be your on and off valve for the ram pump. And it's gonna go on your drive pipe side. Okay, we've already taken a look at these. They are just uh, threaded pipe nipples. They seem to be stainless steel, which is what you want in the water. You've got a two inch and a one inch here. So we'll see what those go to in just a bit. This is your pressure vessel. I always call it a pressure tank. This does a couple of different things. It will allow your ram pump to uh, have a cushion whenever it cycles because the ram pump or this, uh, this papa pump is going to have a water hammer whenever it operates. And this will basically just help the surge not to be quite so hard whenever it hits. It also gives you a little tank so that whenever you open up the delivery side of this pump, the uh, pump doesn't stop immediately. It has a little cushion in here to help get that water pumped up without just stopping. And that's based on if you don't have enough uh, lift to uh, input head pressure. Uh, so looks like we've just got the uh, uh, one inch threads here and that will just screw on to the top of the pump and then everything else is the same. This thing has probably got a bladder in here. Let's see. I'll have to look into that to see if it does. Let's move on to this filter here. 
This is gonna actually go in the water and it will pull the water in and allow you to get sediment free water to your pump. A lot of nice protective packaging. Well, this is quite interesting. We'll have to uh, do a deep dive into how this thing works. I better keep all this separate, huh, or I'll mix it up. Very interesting. All right, well, we'll come back to that here and do a deep dive after I've read some of the material so I don't uh, misrepresent what this means here. All right, let's see. This looks to be about the same thing. Let's see if it is. Yeah, I think so. All right, well, I will look into that more here in just a bit. And then let's move over to the actual pump itself. Okay, the Agri pop pump. Let's go ahead and pull these tabs off here. So there's literature on the filters and the pump itself. Let's pull this box out. And then this one here. Okay. Looks like some more tape to remove. Lots of unboxing on this, huh? I like the color. Definitely blend into your creek better than uh, a bright white PVC will. It's a rubber ring. All right, let's dive into some of these parts real quick. So we've got the main housing of the pump, this little arm, which I'm not sure where it goes yet. And then there are a couple of O-rings and then also these really thick uh, rubber gaskets here. And we will look at those here when I understand where they go. And we've got one last box to undo here. Let's go ahead and see what's inside of this. Interesting. So we've got a rubber hose with looks like a union on this side. Yeah, I believe so. And then this side has a stainless steel T and then that is threaded let's see not sure if it's threaded for this side looks like it yeah definitely not that one all right so we will find out what all this goes to here in just a bit let me do some reading here on the booklet and we'll find out where all of this goes oh yeah I did mention this little piece here looks like it's gonna go somewhere right in there so all right <laughs> let me see what this is all about and I'll be back in just a bit Having worked with the RAM pump for about six years now, I can say that this instruction booklet is well written. There's one image I would have added to this to make it complete, and that is just to show a fully assembled pump by itself with all the parts in line to where it should be. Um, but other than that, it's very well written. Uh, I can tell they put a lot of time and effort into it. It shows everything from step-by-step uh, step on how to put the pump together and then uh, why you have each piece that you do. Um, so kind of the rundown of how this works, you'll have your initial input, which is gonna be with one of these filters, and that's gonna be in your creek or spring. And from there, it will come down a supply line to a storage tank, and then you'll have a second one of these filters in that. And then from there, it'll be called the drive pipe that comes down to the pump and that will connect to this right here, which is the two inch side. From there, you have this little cup right here, and that's where the wastewater is going to bubble out of. The other side over here, you can see the delivery gasket there. Let's leave that in there. That's where your pressure tank is going to go. So you have to screw this onto this side right here with some Teflon tape. And that is going to go over here. So basically, if you're confined to a small space, this little pipe can allow you to kind of get out of that cistern or whatever you're pumping out of. 
or you can just attach straight to something else like a PVC pipe or a garden hose or whatever you're using up the hill. I imagine most people will be using this kind of type of pump for uh, agricultural purposes and you'd want to have a solid um, delivery pipe. So it uh, does not have the Teflon tape included so you have to add that. But let's go ahead and wrap this around the delivery side here. I'm going to do several wraps because it's quite a large opening here. Okay, and now I can just use this right here. Probably would have been a little easier to have attached before I had the pressure tank on there, but uh, There's that side. Hi. There's a gasket in this side, so you don't have to use that Teflon tape. But I'm going to use it here to put that ball valve on. And that's what the basic pump looks like, totally assembled. Drive pipe comes in here, activates the valves, wastewater comes out of this, accumulates here in the pressure tank, and then this is the delivery which will go uphill. So now that we have all of that assembled, um, so this little ring here in the middle, you can actually spin that loose and adjust this middle ring. And that will either constrict or release the uh, mechanism inside to use more or less water. So you can actually adjust how much water this pump uses and likewise how much it can deliver. So I'll get to all that in the land house video, link in the description down below. All right, now that we have the pump itself put together, let's work on getting one of these filters put together. So I think it said there were 16 of these little discs and then it's got a couple other little things that we'll have to explore. So let me read the literature on this real quick and we will get this assembled. These are just spare rings for the valves inside there and then it has some spare o-rings for various things inside the pump to make this last a lot longer. Let's go ahead and assemble the intake screen. So there are multiple of these little round discs that have all of these tabs on here and those are going to be put together so that it will allow uh, water in here but not rocks or sticks and you can actually adjust it to be really close together or less close. Also if you're dealing with a a shallow intake, you can break off some of these tabs. So there's lines here. Let's say I want to just break off this side here. So I break off all of those and it would let me place this lower into the water. So, so first thing to do to get this thing assembled is to find one of these discs here and to simply place that onto this cylinder. And then there are tabs back here that will basically stand off the next piece. And there are two notches here that you're gonna to want to offset. So right here we've got this line. I'm gonna put one right there. And then so the next one is going to offset to the other side here. And that way those little standoffs will be uh, side by side and can compress down like that. So let me just go ahead and put all of these on here alternating back and forth, and then we will be ready to uh, see what it looks like completed here. I went ahead and put all of them on there. Let me find the notch on this one, and then we go ahead and screw one of these end pieces on. Looks like I matched up one of them wrong, but 
anyway, that's the concept of that. Water will go in here and then come out right there into your either drive pipe or supply line and go downhill. And so from here, you can either screw this directly into an adapter or you can use this fern co-fitting here to uh, attach it to your pipe. I believe that's enough on the assembly of the pump and the Sarah disc. Let's go ahead and go down to the creek and I'll show you this thing in operation really quick. And to get the full video, of course, link in the description to the Land House YouTube channel where I'm gonna be doing some testing with this and a full install. All right, let's go out to the creek. Hey, now we're talking. Very cool. And that's just a quick look at the Agri pop-up pump cycling. Now I'm gonna be doing a full install on the Land of House channel in the spring of 2022. And so definitely stay tuned to the Land of House channel to watch that install. But for now, thank you for watching Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth, and I'll see you in the next video.